Hey there guys and gals, this is Ed over at Roaming Gamer. I wanted to take uh, hopefully like five minutes and just uh, quickly show you guys how easy it is to use EatLean to set up a starter framework for your game or application. Uh, in this case what I'm going to do is set up a starter framework with some basic interfaces and I'm going to choose the app loving ad network as my provider for monetization. So let me go ahead and open up the Eat Lean folder. Now this is the Windows version. There's a Windows version and an OS 10 version. Let's start her up. Close that. All right. And if this is the first time running, which it is for me on this computer because I cleaned everything up for the demo, it's going to ask you to create a new project. If you've been using it for a while, you can click on Project New and it will take you to the same interface. Now let's go ahead and call this project App 11 Test. And then we'll select the standard composer framework and click start. All right, so here we are with a summary. It's the name. We can change it at this point if we want. We can leave some notes. So let's say a demo for folks watching today. That's you. All right, let's choose our build targets. I'd like in this case for the demo only to build for Android. So Android is set to true and all the other ones are false. And then we need the app loving uh, network. So let's go to plugins, uh, look under ads monetization. This, this list here scrolls. As you can see, there's many plugins supported by Corona and almost all of them at this point are currently supported by the tool. I'm currently working on adding a few more and then as new plugins come out, I add them. So let's find app loving. We click it and it comes up in our selected plugins list. You'll see that there's a little yellow button or uh, bubble here. It has a one in it. Now, the number is basically telling you how many problems it has found. It says, I found a problem, one problem in this case. You need to do something about it. We can click on this button, and it will pop up a little dialog telling us in summary what the issue is. This plugin uh, may require additional configuring. To do so, please click the advanced settings and then monetization or plugins. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Advanced Settings, Monetization, and we are in the Android Ads ID section. Now, if we had targeted more devices, there would be more buttons here for the different types, so Android, iOS, uh, Apple TV, etc. And uh, we got a blank field here, so it says App Love and SDK Key. Now, if you've used ads before, or if you haven't, basically what you need is a, a single key for App11 um, for each of the different operating systems that you're going to be building for. We're only building for Android, so I need to go to my App11 account and create a key, and then I can paste it here. If you don't know how to do this, go ahead and click on the App11 SDK text. It'll pop up a little dialog that doesn't really say much at this point. It says, hey, I'm going to put more in here later but it does have a link to the corona docs so if we open that or we click it it'll take us here and then on the corona docs it tells us go to this website click here create your account yada yada go get your key so that is all you really need to get started now i have a key so let me grab mine let's see we're at three minutes and 40 seconds i'm doing a lot of talking but not much clicking and pasting so let's paste click to generate Let's click on help, open special folders. Now, I got the folder right here on my desktop, but the, the code currently is generated to your desktop to a special folder called eOutput. Uh, it has been requested, and I'm going to do it. Uh, in the future, I will let you generate any folder you want. I'll let you select a, a default folder. And then in the future, I will let you also generate to a specific folder at the time you do the generation. So, but for now, if you forget where it is, if you can't find your desktop, I'm joking. Uh, click on help. Like I said, let's, let's cancel that. Never mind. Click on help, open special folders, and generation folder. That will open this folder here. And in here is the app loven test, which matches the name of our project. If we open that, we're going to see the three standard files. We're going to see a folder called scenes. And in scenes, we're going to have splash screen, play, home screen, options, and about. So we got the full set of empty interfaces that we can populate with whatever we need for our project. And we have a scripts folder. Now here's the cool thing. Uh, in the previous versions of this tool, 
I generated a unified piece of script or module, but it was kind of confusing some folks. So what I've done instead is uh, I'm currently changing this for every ad network, for every analytics network, for every basically every plugin that requires some kind of initialization. I will create a helpers file that has all of the code to do the initialization and it has samples of how you would uh, load an ad, how you would show an ad. Uh, if the ad network, for example, supports banners and interstitials and videos, I will show you how to do each and every one of the different kinds of um, loads and shows and check to see if it's loaded, all that good stuff. Basically, I'm going to break it out so that you can look at these things. In fact, let's just take a look. So can, you can look at these and go, okay, let's see, what does this have in it? It's got something for setting up the IDs. It's got some initialization code. It's got code that shows me how to load the ad. Uh, check to see if it's loaded, show it, etc. Basically, everything you'd want to use these different networks and totally functional. Let's go back in here and open up main, and I'll just take you on a quick tour here. So main is usually pretty thin. It's going to have a copyright statement at the top, a little bit of selling detail. So if you say, hey, where did this code come from? This is where it came from. You can get it. Uh, I turn off buffering because I want the output to come to the console right away. And I turn off the status bar because I really hate that when I'm looking at simulator. Now, in our case, we have selected the App11 uh, ad network. So there's going to be a little piece of code that calls the helper and then initializes. And we selected a framework. So it's going to go ahead and load up Composer and it's going to go to the splash screen. Um, let's go ahead and modify this. What I would like to do is let's go ahead and make it so you can see what I'm doing. I would like to just put some code in there to go ahead and also show an ad right away. Now with App Loving, before you can show an ad, you need to load it. So let's go ahead and say timer, perform with delay. And this isn't necessarily the way you'd want to do it, but for the sake of this example, I'm just going to assume that two seconds is enough time for the initialization to complete, and then I'll call the app love and helper load function two seconds later and then with another timer perform with delay I will wait an additional three seconds for a total of five seconds and I will call show now again this is not the best way to do it but these are the basic steps initialize load show all right so let's go ahead and open this thing up and uh, you can see I did a dry run before this test, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the project. Let's make sure I saved. Comes up on our splash screen. We can click it, and it'll take us to the home screen. These are the um, the standard interfaces that I generate for you that you can then modify or add to. We have a play GUI, an about screen, options, all empty with just basic basic buttons in them. All right, so let's go ahead and build this for Android, and we'll get that started. And while that's running, I will go ahead and open up a window to do the installation, and I'll open up LogCat. I'll start that running. Now, if you're not familiar with this, if you're not an Android user or you don't do it this way, um, I use the Android Debug Bridge tool to uh, install and replace binaries on my device. So that's what this window is here. And I've just run um, a window that's got ADB in it. And then I also started using ADP, ADB, the uh, LogCat tool. And the LogCat tool lets me look at the console output that is printed, which would you'd normally see for like the simulator version, except it's printed on your device. That's not exactly right. Uh, it's the console output on your device, because I want to see the initialization messages and, and whatnot. All right, it's done. That took about 40 seconds. Let's go ahead and ADB install minus R for replace. Doesn't exist, but I always type this because I do continually re rebuild and reinstall. And uh, let's see, got a bunch of stuff here. App love and test, that's it. Now I'm gonna hold it up. Uh, let's see, I can't seem to get my, it should appear on the screen here. Oh, there it is, okay. I'm gonna turn it around. Let's bring up the LogCat window, and I'm going to start it, and then I'll hold it up for you to see, and we can see the log at the same time. So the log is running, and it initialized, it loaded, and then boom.
five seconds in there's our video it's working like a charm i got her upside down but you get the idea all right so let's see i've been talking for 10 minutes but in this time i'd say it took us less than two minutes to make our selections modify the code generate run done so i hope you guys will agree that eat lean can save you a lot of time it's got a lot of uh, features and support uh, we, we only touched on just the barest minimum of options there's all kinds of stuff you can tweak just point and click and paste um, i guess that's it all right until next time thanks a lot and bye bye